This is the first Group 1 of Week 12, a week packed full of Group 1 competition. One more two, Group 1 for the two-year-olds here at St. Clue. It's the Criterion de St. Clue. Alert the authorities for Obi-Wan, Never Slayer for Steve Rand, Seychelles for Paul Rhodes, Wood for Jacko for James Shea, Rosie Marie Murphy for Hem, Shinobi, your 3 to 1 favourite for Davy Lad, The Red Zulu for Josh, Tilly Lucy for Dan Hughes, and War Shanty for Mike Westwood. Nine go to post in this Group 1. And they are off. Even break across the whole stretch. It looks like the Red Zulu is going to try and push for that lead. And does just that. The Red Zulu has got the rail for Josh. We're in a furlong. And the rest are all sort of sitting off and letting the Red Zulu go about his business. Seychelles has just got a neck out in second from T. Lucy. Alert the authorities out wide. Never Slayer, uh, Woodbridge Jacko, and then on the far inside is War Shanty. On the far outside is Rosemary Murphy, and the favourite Shinobi is covered up in the middle. The Red Zulu goes into the final seven furlongs from Seychelles. About three lengths clear already. Tilly Lucy, Never Slayer. Those on the rail probably just have it, Woodbridge Jacko. But it is still the Red Zulu. But we'll be seeing some of these hopefully next season over the classic staying ledger sort of distance. But the Red Zulu. Seychelles has got a little closer for Paul Rose. Doesn't want to get the, let the Red Zulu get too far away. Woodbridge Jacko is there with War Shanty, Never Slayer, Tilly Lucy, Shinobi being ridden along to try and get closer. And now the Red Zulu starts to slow it up and allows the rest to get a bit closer. The Red Zulu taking the breather on the bend. Jockey takes a look around, still has about a length and a half, two lengths in hand. But it's the Red Zulu. War Shanty is travelling well for Mike Westwood. Here's Seychelles being produced on the outside in the white and green also coming Tilly Lucy and War Shanty the Red Zulu kicks for home and they're into the final two furlongs and these two are going at it and it's now Seychelles who picks it up down the outside for Paul Rhodes, nothing's really kicking on from the back, it's going to take a good stayer and will Seychelles be able to last out, the jockey now takes another look home and Seychelles has gone close and run away with this, Seychelles picks up, nothing come from the back nothing could outstay this thing Seychelles, a monster in waiting, hoses up by about two and a half to three lengths and is now a Group 1 winner, if he wasn't before, but Seychelles certainly now has a Group 1 to his name. 10 to 3. The Red Zulu picks up some nice place money in second, but it is Seychelles for Paul Rhodes, the two-year-old Colt, wins at 10 to 3. Wins by... Three and a half lengths from the Red Zulu. Josh Tilly Lucy for Dan Hughes was third and the favourite Shinobi was fourth.